Hello everyone and welcome back to the Age of the Ring mod as we continue on our guide through every single faction this time with Rohan and oh my goodness Rohan is not good against Mordor I'm just going to say that right now Rohan as a faction is not good against Mordor the faction they have an incredibly difficult time but I'm going to do my best Starting with the Triple Builder Strat. On a map like this, where the enemy is far away, they have to go a very, very far distance to reach us. It is imperative to get a third builder and just build up everything you need as quickly as possible. You cannot wait around. Can't waste any time. Got to get it all done ASAP. And Rohan, luckily has some ways of generating extra resources for their other buildings. All their buildings that are, well, these first six buildings, their farms, windmills, barracks, archery range, stables, and workshop all generate resources. Then we have Erwin, and our builder. Oh, now I've got my builder out. Uh, yeah, so we're going for windmills first because they generate, yes, they're a bit more expensive, but they reduce the cost of our infantry, and that is what we're going to be focusing on for a large portion of the game. If we don't have the early game prepared, then we're screwed. The late In the late game, when we want more cavalry, we can build farms in our front line. But we need the six windmill discount first. So otherwise, we are going to have a very tough time. Because already, these yeoman spearmen cost 300. They're a decent unit, but when we're fighting orcs, which are even cheaper... We do want to just have cheap things. And cheap things we shall have. So we've built all our windmills. We can now build farms. But first I want to build wells. Because unlike Gondor, these don't decrease the cost of other units. They improve the resource generation of our stable. Of our um, re of main two resource buildings, farms and windmills. So we want to build them everywhere we can. And where we have a farm or windmill. And that way we generate even more resources from our resource buildings. And while we're defending our resource buildings, they give us a, um, a nice little uh, uh, reason to protect them. And look at that. Yeoman Archers, 187 resources. That is some of the cheapest units we'll ever see until we reach Mordor. So yeah, already very, very good start. Cavalry, yes, they're good. They're worth getting. They're worth discounting. But cavalry, well, cavalry are so expensive, are at a point where um, they're not something you want to spam. These are units we want to spam, so we want to get plenty of them. And also, I recommend when fighting against Mordor or any faction that um, likes to spam, in that can spam infantry a lot, even if it's just um, poor quality cavalry, or not poor quality cavalry, poor quality units. Build walls. I didn't do it with M Gondor because I am I can say 100% Gondor, I have learnt 100%, know exactly what I'm doing with them. I have no problem playing with them whatsoever. But Rohan, I actually have really t a tough time playing with because their playstyle is so fo uh, foreign to me. I don't enjoy playing with Rohan as much as I uh, did when they first came out. I'm not saying they're a bad faction, mind you. I'm just saying they're not my pick. For the faction I would play in a tournament, for example. I would play either Erebor, Gondor, or um, oh, definitely not Mordor. Maybe Misty Mountains? Yeah, Misty Mountains is fun. Okay, so we've got a nice uh, horde of our own. So now any units that come past us will have a bit of t trouble. But the problem with AI is they don't care about your units. In the, t in the time in the early game when your units don't matter... They don't care because they know that you're better than them because you've managed to spam better. But in about two minutes, they're going to be so much stronger. So they're going to focus all your attention away from the front line. Shoot you, shoot, shoot you all the way back to the back line because that's where they're going for your resource buildings. So that's why you want walls, to protect your interests. You want to make sure that en the enemy can't touch you. If they can touch you, then you're screwed. Basically. Is the um, shameless way of putting it. So, yes, we are building out here as well, which is fine. But we don't want to push out too far away from our uh, uh, our military building. We're going to build more up here. I'm not going to be using these two buildings much right now. They're going to be our um, 
late game strategy. No, nope, keep away from those wargs. Actually, no, go into them. You're, spe you're spearmen and archers. You can deal with them. But yeah, wolves also are super cheap in Age of the Ring. Or they were? What the fuck? Okay, wolves used to be super cheap in Age of the Ring. They are now not anymore. They are now super expensive. So build them sparingly. Build them very sparingly, because otherwise you'll end up paying for more than what they're worth. Yeah, I'm just building one single wall. Don't want anything else of it. Don't need anything else of it. So the reason I chose the Lone Scout is not because it's the best power at the tier, but because I want the Horn of the Westfold and then Bountiful Harvest. If it was any other, if they were on this side, I'll go straight for Shore Up. Shore Up is again the re the uh, rebuild ability. Super efficient, really good, should always go for. Because the AI will always focus you. Unless you're playing as a player, in which case this guide is not going to be good for you. Because this is only for when you're playing against other, play against other AI, not players. Okay, they're coming out with a bit of force, that's fine. That's what I expect. Build a tower or two, or five. However many builders I have. Throw an archery rings behind it. And yeah, don't forget to destroy that wild pit. Collect the money and then protect the base. And yeah, on a, this is also a strategy you can do, you can employ on this map because um, your home territory, your the, basically the map is split into three different areas: your starting base, the enemy starting base, and the no man's land. You need to start occupying the no man's land in immediately if you want to get an advantage. Because the enemy will. It's a very um, strange design for a no man's land. And you can see the enemy is already uh, occupying their area. But they're not going to make as much value of it as we are. My, my idea for this area is that I um, want to build everything that can be temporary. Never permanent. Only temporary. And we are all soon going to actually want a stable. So I'm going to build a stable too. And yet they've got trolls already. So we want to try and deal with that if possible. So we're going to have to come back. Leave the gobbos alone and deal with something else, please. Sorry, farm, you have to be disbanded for now. And yeah, you can stay because you're you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah. Build the workshop as well. But build it closer to the back here. So it's safe. Okay, I came back just in time. Anyway, make sure that troll dies, please. Don't want that being left alone and alive. And yeah, they're going to make some heroes. They're going to be very annoying. But we're going to make our own heroes. And then we're going to be annoying with them. Let's start with Feodred. And we want Apostone Gates. Could get a normal gate. In fact, I will get a normal gate. Because we might build a workshop back there as well. Just so we can really um, sit in, sit back and just relax a bit. If it comes to it. Which it might come to. Okay. We need more infantry. I'm going to use this ability of um, air winds. Readiness. Now these troops come up instantly with... Um, their draft and they get spawned, they get recruited faster. I just need the front line to protect my archers. Archers are the damage dealers, need to protect the damage dealers. And we now have well, the power I've been waiting for, Horn of the Westfold. That was a beautiful looking gate. Now, Fair Dread, I would like you on your horse later, but not right now. Right now is a bit too much to deal with. So, it's... make some uh, horsemen so you can eventually use them. Build a well here so we get more money from that when we put it back into money mode. Same here. Okay, we're not making peasants super fast anymore. We are still getting uh, stuff from them. They're still going to be summoned drafted. 
So we get one more unit of peasants draft, uh, come out drafted, and then we'll call that there. When they're drafted, they're basically the same as Yeoman Spearmen. A wee bit cheaper, but still a trash unit. Can't really be trusted on to do anything good. So that's why we have the West Folders. Can I reclose that gate? Yes, good. They can't get through. They'll try. Because AI think they can cheat that much. Erwin, fall back a bit. I don't want you dying. You're very good. I don't want you dying. On me. Come on, men. They're the same as um, the units of the fiefdoms. They get their armor instantly at a higher level. Okay, we've got, we got good money. We're going to actually get another hero now. We're going to get AMA. Because he, at level 3, has Scavenger. And that means more money. More money means better things. Better things mean we have a better chance against the enemy. The better chances we have against the enemy, the more we are to win. more likely we are to win. You need to always think of those three things. Will they help us more? And if not, then we probably should just get rid of them because they're not going to help us very much. Make sure our cavalry are separated from our infantry. And I want Erwin level 8 as soon as possible because then she has a mini well ability in an area. He a nice little heal everywhere in an area. It's very good. Oh, Fedor level 3 from that. Black Orcs thinking they can, they're can they worth something. They are not. So let's kill them off. Got a slightly more forward well on this side. Okay. Fedor, you can now go on your horse. You're better on your horse than you are on foot. And you're going to join our cavalry. Which I'm also going to upgrade because you don't want to you don't want to use these horsemen of the mark very much. They are not very good. They're comparable to the uh, ye the um, the yeoman of um, what's the word? Divide and conquer. They're super trash. You don't want them. You want to get better things for uh, better prices. And for that, we have the warriors of Snowborn. The riders of Snowborn. They are super good. I've also got a, near a full stack of um, infantry. Have I still got fire arrows yet? Let's get them now. Oh, I did that wrong. It's command group 1, command group 2 is Emma, Feodred, and our horsemen. Build more towers now. The AI is giving us a reprieve. Let's use it not to um, expand, but to shore up our defences. And speaking of, let's get... Oh, wait, no. I want Bountiful Harvest first. They're giving us this chance to just um, sit back and do nothing. I want to use it um, to get as much money as possible. And let's not waste it on getting something like that. Something evil stares across the horizon. There's fire arrows. I'm not sure if that's the actual cost or if they get discounted from having certain barracks. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it should. But if that's the actual price, that's a very weird price to choose. Now, the AI are known to build boats on maps like this. More so on Edine than on uh, Age of the Ring. But let's not get too cocky. And pass, um, go too far. If this was, if we were a faction that was an evil faction that could cut down trees, we want this. But in, uh, a good faction that can't use lumber, take it nice and slow. No need to push out and do something reckless. I think we've got lucky that the AI hasn't been able to build too much because this area is um, a little bit more prohibiting for them. But they've already built trolls. They've already built. They'll probably build siege equipment soon enough. We have a 4,000 command point army. We're going to have to start using it to our advantage. The yeah, AMA level 3. So, yeah, this is what I was talking about. They'll show their, they'll show their hands soon enough. We'll have to wait for it. And when they do show their hand, we want to take the advantage and kill off anything that's not a pikeman. And this is why this is why I want level eight air win because a power like this that does lo lots of damage to an, in a large area could get counteracted by an ability that does 
even mo uh, more healing than the damage. I need to put them back, put our cavalry back into the, the defensive position. Yeah, look at that damage from that one power. I could go ere the sun rises for the heal, but I want the resources. The resources are so much more important right now. They are really, it's really important to have a big resource base. Come on now, then get to it. Oh, Eowyn, fall back. I want you to level up, but I don't want you to die. Fall back, I think, is the right choice to make. Just fall back. Just fall back and regroup. They're not faster than us, so we can just take it nice and slowly. Heal up at the wells and then come back even stronger than ever. Lots of the towers protecting our interests, which is very important. And we also now want to get the um, the Munberg Masonry, which gives us our structures an extra 50% boost in armor. Because instead of using sticks and hay, we use stone. I know it sounds weird to um, not use stone in the first place, but this is Rohan we're talking about here. They're not all, they're not the most advanced to begin with. They don't start they don't start out the most um, advanced faction in the world. Now we can use the Garden of Aphelion to heal nearby units and detect stuff. It's basically the well effect. I don't think it actually um, re re resurrects dead troops. It only heals them. Well done. Yeah, this is why I don't want these units for long. Because they do trample well to start with. The first unit they trample, yeah, that's good. But they are also super weak to archers. And that should not be a, a, a trait of cavalry, to be weak to archers. So which is why we're going to now start getting the Riders of Snowborn. And this is why I didn't go for the farms to start. Because even with the full discount, there's still 600. So yeah. Consider upgrade, consider game, giving them the upgrades. But don't think to yourself, okay, we've got to get this. We've got to get all these up, uh, discounts because they're that important. We've got with Gondor compared to Rohan. It is not that dip, it's not important. Yeah, kill on Murloc. Drummer trolls, are, by the way, are the bane of Rohan. Rohan has such a hard time dealing with pikemen. Pikemen and trolls are the bane of uh, Rohan. And, of course, Mordor has them both in spades. But they're weak pikemen, so I can live with that. Trolls, not so much, but the pikemen, yeah. Not lovingly, but definitely I can deal with them. Rise of Snowball. Ready for orders. Deal with that catapult, please. Oh, they just summoned cavalry on top of us. Erwin, you're going to have to do some uh, juking here. Your power does not work anywhere there's a building, which is, which is saddening because it also affects us and our buildings. There's a troll hiding in the forest. I didn't let him live. Everyone use your power here, so everyone can can get benefited from it. But then fall back to the wells because the wells are still better. Uh, build a well in our mess of towers, and as you can see, the once you get the Mumberg masonry, your buildings do actually look different. Did I get it? Yeah, I have. You can actually see instead of using the sticks, it does actually have a bit more of a stone look to the, its edgings. Not so much the wells, so they always look like that. You can see it on here. Once these buildings level up, like the windmills here, you can actually see the stone they've used. And that's, that's what they always use. And you can see here. Oh, no, no, it's always stone. Oh. I always thought it made it look more aesthetically pleasing. Oh, well. Yeah, look, at that, look at that, our resources right now. And that was not, that, that was not even having to worry about um, all the other things needed. I'm going to get the Horns of Hammerhand, because I do want the uh, Helming Gas. So we also need a Tier 3 Barracks. Get some West Folders lined up for recruitment. Have more Fire Arrows for our Peasants. For the Shire! And let's now get Shore up. Ents and Gandalf aren't essential powers. 
they're f unlike with Gondor, which we, we, who both have pretty um, defensive power, whose powers are pretty defensive. Uh, Rohan's powers are very aggressive. You want to use them to take out the enemy at the last moment. Because Ents on their own are not enough. And um, using uh, whatever Rohan ha whatever um, g uh, using the Ents or Gandalf to try and do some big thing at the end is not is the, the way to go. You don't want to um, just throw them in to begin with and hope they do great because that's not how it works. Sadly, that's not how it works. They're great, but they're not great on their own. Let's keep giving all our units those upgrades. It is not worth considering getting heavy armor for your troops to begin with. They're going to die, but you can also heal them up very well. Actually, fall back. I just realized we have no um, siege equipment and no command points to get those uh, siege equipment. So we just... Actually, no, we will attack. But we're going to need to... Uh, do some back and forth action here. Erwin's about to get trampled by a giant great beast. We just trampled my entire army and it's got level 5 instantly. I will complain, but I actually wanted that to happen. As weird as that sounds and the amount of lag I'm suffering through right now, I actually wanted that great beast to do that so I can now start getting some onagers. Uh, Oath of Killian. Ah, you're merry though, you're fine. You're on your own. Erwin, fall back. Ah, he's fine. Trample them, but not the pikes, because they're in their special skill transformation, whatever it's called. Heal everyone. Well done. Feyden. That bloody fear effect pisses me off. Yes, I know it's part of vanilla and they should have it, but for crying out loud, it should not make them throw, out, throw themselves out that far. One of Gondor just keeps them in one place. Doesn't throw them around like a bunch of hacky sacks. Poor Mathisarin couldn't decide whether to die on his feet or on a horse. I'd have chosen horse. Okay, we're through that nonsense. Build some onagers and then we're going to end it. Keep them back here because we can. We got the flags come from Rune. Their voice is so silly. It's funny because it is silly, but it's so silly. Got his helming gas as well. And uh, heavy armor, since we're about to end it all. Oh, yeah, this is, this is what I want for um, Edine. Have a restriction on seat equipment, like. This game does. Have a nice restriction. We don't, we don't, they don't need to be that. There doesn't need to be an endless supply of siege equipment in the game. Limit it, please. Okay, now to let all my units die again. They didn't die hard enough. They need to die harder. Get rid of that trebuchet, please. Catapult, whatever it is. Oh, look, another fear effect. Even though we should have fear resistance at some point. With all of our heroes. Or at least one of them should have a fear resistant power. In their repertoire. Spears. Indeed, it is a spear. Where's my helming us? Alright, ran out of the command points. I was going to upgrade these as well. Okay, let's have our cavalry go out and deal some damage. Get rid of that lumber mill. That's a few too many labourers on that lumber mill right there, mate. Let's get rid of that for you. Okay, 
and full back. Charge, ev charge everything down because e all of them are not pi all of them are non pikes except for the pi one you know that is pikes. Where are my trebuchet? Not cavalry. And where where what you are? For Rohan. What does this power do again? Permanently granting them extra armor. Nice. Coolio. Oh, we got ourselves the um, helming us. As you know, Helm's Deep is ours to defend. Almost got enough power points for Ents. Cut off that damn troll. Hey, we're trying not to die. Elf Helm, you're about to die. Now he just dies with. Oh, we got char I, I charge him instead. Pikes, right? That yeah, I'll, that'll do that. That'll happen. Oh, we've got so many resources as well. Everyone fall back. A few more helming, uh, snowborn troops. A few more west folders. I'll grade this to make it work a bit faster, I think. Oh yeah, th I've actually got to mention. Rohan's buildings, because they're also resource building, can't upgrade on their own. They don't need to upgrade them. But it is recommended to upgrade because otherwise they, they will probably never upgrade. Crush all those non-pikes. Look at all those non-pikes. Trample them all. Everyone else fall back. No, you don't, Faden. You see the light. Fall back. My one more archers too. Plenty of everything. Plenty of everything, please. Just leave Hammer and Gambling on their own because they can't even talk. Now the unit are summoned. Hey, don't fire up, Will. At least if you do, do it right. Okay, we're getting through it. We're pushing through. We're going to do it. Okay, we have our onagers. I think we can go in now. We've got the last march of the Ents. At the very back of it all. We can push them. We can push through and kill them all now. I think. It's safe to say we can do that now. Now for Raf. Now for Ruin and the Red Dawn. Oh my fucking god. Who invented that? And they could trample shit like that. Come on. I mean, I instantly re rebuilt everything. All the units I lost got instantly replenished. But come on. Come on. With that nonsense. And now there's Shelob. And then, and wow, Shelob appeared. So much nonsense is going on right now. I can't even understand what's going on. Yeah. 
Giving everyone experience, but uh, Give everyone experience. <gasps> I'm so confused. I'm so lost at everything that's going on right now. Cavalry goes to the side. There's more life in horseplay. So apparently the West Folders are not horsemen. Even though they're probably some of the more famous ones since they came to the rescue of the... Um, the forces of Helm's Deep. Yeah, the sun rises, motherfuckers. Let's see how you like it. Let's see how you like it for once. And you get feared. Yeah, you don't like it too much, do you? Okay. They're pushing through again. Just walk. Please just walk forward. Please just walk forward and get this done. <laughs> this feels like it's taking forever. It probably has taken forever. I'm done now. Let's let it end. Oh, that's so much lag. If the game crashes now, I'd be very upset. I'm ready to use the last march of the Ents. Are going to war. Like you're going to your doom, but just destroy the fortress, please. I know you're angry that you've had to wake up. Just please. Strike the fortress. That's all I can do with you. Do against this reckless hate. Kill it all is what you can do. Best way of destroying a fortress. Earthquake or Ents. Ends are probably definitely the way of doing it, but earthquakes definitely the way of um, destroying an entire fortress. There, that's their fortress gone. King, king burning. Destroyers and usurpers curse them all. Yeah, they can go. They can go for my base if they want. They're not going to get. Any, they're not going to find any purchase there. You'll find no purchase in the grave. Unless that's what you wish. No, you cannot rebuild your fortress. You shall not rebuild your fortress. Cavalry again to the... Into the center and stop destruct them now. Don't let them even think of rebuilding. Draw those barracks, please. Cavalry, get into the centre. Don't let them rebuild their fortress. Kill all their builders. Kill every single builder. Use the heal when it comes off cooldown. Oh. There we go. We've taken the centre. They can't rebuild their fortress. Got every single builder in sight. No, we're trying to surround them. Let's show off Durnhelm. Basically, be gone foul to the lake. Courage for our friends. Gives Mary some gives Mary some nice boosts, but best of the killing heroes. And then let's get the Grey, Com Grey Company out with Gandalf, shall we? Well, the Grey Company, the Free Hunters in Gandalf. This is a, this this is on the same tier as um, Ents. Of course it is. Stupid troll. 
Oh, yep, yeah, he was surrounded by um, pikemen. That was a mistake. My catapult's also the line. Good. Um, oh, yeah, this can happen. Uh, you kill a troll with fire arrows, it sometimes glitches out and is there permanently. And can I, and it can grow it can become sentient. It can grow sentience and then attack your base indefinitely and then you die. Because you can't stop a troll from destroying walls because it's a troll. So yeah, be wary of that. And that is how you play as Rohan. Very confusing, I admit. Um But just remember that Rohan is not my best faction in any shape way, shape, or form. But I think I did a pretty good job. You basically want to have your main base protected. That's got full resources, fully powered up. Um, if you can't always build it up, build up and show up with walls, try protecting a slightly smaller area. And everything else outside of it is temporary. You're, you're willing to let it get destroyed. But you want to make it, you want to keep it alive and build loads of towers, build cavalry, get rid of their siege equipment. Basically, anyone that's not a player won't be able to stop this. So any AI will have trouble dealing with that. Obviously, that they do um, a more brutal AI would be more difficult, but I think we managed. So hope you've all enjoyed. Next, we have Erebors. Both I'll show off both factions in separate videos because they are two separate factions now. The current, the currently the only faction that is split into two. Because Lothlorien and Lovelin Realm are two different factions. Rivendell's a different faction. Mordor's on its own. Isengard, Misty Mountain, Dogledore. Erebor is currently the only faction that has two cut. is cut into two. I think they could do the same with the Misty Mountains. And make it... And then um, expand the lore. But we'll talk about that in another video. Until then, ta-ta for now.